Fruit, it turns out, is one of the most successful ways to distribute seeds. And that's what fruit is. Fruit is one more seed delivery device. Okay, it's evolved and it's evolved. The reason you see so many fruit varieties is because this is a really great strategy. Make something which tastes good, delivers calories and nutrients to, to an animal that is looking for those things, and they're gonna come eat it. And some of, I mean, some of them get eaten under the tree and the seed gets left there. And sometimes they get, the seeds get left somewhere else, right? It's, there's just a chance, a better chance that the seeds may wind up in a place that's viable, okay? That's what fruit is for. So let's go back to the vegetables for a second, okay? Does the plant want you to eat it? No. The plant wants to survive so it can procreate. If you eat it, the chances of it procreating after you eat it are you know, pretty small, zero. It's not gonna happen. Plants wanna survive so they can reproduce. People say, yeah, but you're eating the mangoes. Different, it's different. Why, why is it different? Because you're not eating the tree. The tree wants to survive and reproduce and eating the fruit, you're helping it to do that. Now, we're not necessarily helping, right? Most of the time, people, why not? Because you eat the fruit, and you might well throw the seed in the garbage can, and it goes someplace where it's never gonna be able to succeed. But what would happen if we lived in the jungle, if we lived in nature? There's only two possibilities. Okay, you eat fruit, mangoes, avocados, mamesapote, these are all examples of fruits that have large seeds. Anybody ever swallow a mango seed by accident? No. Okay. You eat the flesh off the seed, you leave the seed on the ground. We also have fruits that have little tiny seeds. Okay. Strawberries are covered with them. Okay. Tomatoes, figs, peppers, cucumbers, kiwis are loaded with little tiny seeds. Do you even notice the seeds? Most of the time you don't. So what happens, and then there are seeds that are in between where maybe you notice them. Apples. Bite into an apple seed. Tastes good, right? Oh, they taste bad. They taste very bitter. In fact, we can taste bitter so we know what not to eat because poisons usually taste bitter. Ayurveda says we should eat bitter foods because we have a taste bud for bitter. But perhaps we can taste bitter so we know what not to eat. Okay? So you bite into the apple seed and your body goes, ew, you spit that out. With small seeds, we either spit them out or we do the thing that rhymes with spit them out. <laughs> okay? They wind up on the ground in that second case in perfect fertilizer. Okay? It's perfect. It's brilliant. Not only with, with, with uh, if we swallow the seeds, see the big seeds, they have to wind up in the right place. And because they're large enough, they have the nutrients that the seed needs to keep it alive for a long time. So back over here behind the, the corner of the building this way, we had a big water apple tree. That tree was probably five, six, maybe even seven meters tall. And a couple of years ago, a big windstorm came knocked the tree down, broke the trunk, okay? Within a month, we had mango trees, papayas, and avocados sprouting up. Uh, papayas were, had, would have just been thrown there. But the mangoes, the avocados, big seeds, the ability to wait a long time for the right conditions, as soon as there was sunlight, off they go. And that's the way it works. Okay, in, a, in a jungle, you have all these seeds, and the, the little ones don't have very long. They can't support themselves for very long. But the big ones can wait. Everything is waiting for a tree to fall, so now there's some sunlight hitting the forest floor, and then they take off, competing with each other to fill that space. Okay, that's what happened over there. We still have a bunch, we have too many trees in there, because as soon as they get big enough, it's gonna be way too crowded. They're all competing for that same space. We'll take them out. 
when they get a little bigger, we're leaving them because we want to block the, the view to that room. But as soon as one of them is big enough, we'll take some of the other ones out. Okay, that's what will happen. So, seeds, fruit seeds. Is the is the apple seed unusual in that it's toxic? Everyone familiar that with the toxicity of apple seeds? They contain cyanide. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eat about a half a cup of them, and there's enough cyanide to kill you. Now, who's going to eat a half a cup of apple seeds? It's a bunch of apples. You'd have to chew the seeds up. But they're toxic. Okay. Is that unusual, being toxic like that? Mm -hmm. It's a protective mechanism. It's a protective me mechanism. Almost all fruit seeds are toxic because with a fruiting plant is, is putting all this energy into making fruit. It takes a lot of energy to make sugar. And it's making sugar to attract an animal to come eat this thing so that it can get the seeds into the ground. It wants to ensure that the seeds don't get eaten. And so it makes them toxic on purpose. Okay? This makes sense to everyone. Don't eat your fruit seeds. Now, if you swallow some, no big deal. You can't digest them unless you chew them up. It's impossible. We don't have strong enough stomach acid. We can't break them down. It's a combination of protein and cellulose, and we can't digest either one of them in that condition. This makes sense to everyone. When you eat watermelon, do you try to not swallow any of the seeds? Or? It doesn't matter if you swallow some by accident. You can't digest them. What if you bite into one, though? I spit think? it out. Don't chew it up. Spit it out. That's okay. also toxic? The Absolutely. So sometimes when you put it in a blender and drink, right, all those seeds also... Okay. I, wouldn't, I would take the seeds out. <laughs> Don't blend them up. They're toxic. <laughs> 